friends, I hope you're having a good day. And when I say good day, that means I hope that you're being blessed to the extremes. I hope that everything is in place for you to be happy, to be able to do the things that you want to do that's going to make you a better person and make the world a better place. A good day. But this is Good Friday. How does good connect with Good Friday? I mean, after all, that was the day when they took Jesus to be crucified. They took him before that council, Pontius Pilate washed his hands, and the people said, take him and crucify him. So Pilate gave him to the guards. They took him inside, and they took their whips, and they beat him with those whips until his flesh bled, and they beat him with their hands until he was bruised, and then they gave him a cross to walk up that hill to Golgotha. And there they crucified him. They laid him on that cross, nailed his hands and his feet with nails to that cross. They pierced him. He suffered agony that no one can imagine because it was the worst way that you could kill anybody in those days and probably still is. Jesus hung on that cross for you and for me. And finally at noon, the sky turned black and Jesus said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was so alone. And then a little later, he said, it's finished. He had fulfilled that plan that God had in place for you and for me to die on the cross for the sins of all of us. Good Friday? Good Friday. There's a song that I bet you know. It's called The Old Rugged Cross. And it says, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. It was the emblem of suffering and shame. But I love that old cross because the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. Folks, that's you and I. We're the sinners. So for you and I, yes, Good Friday, that's a good day. It's the beginning that changed the course of the world, especially our world. Jesus did that for you and I. He willingly died on that cross for you and for me, sinners saved by grace. So friends, the question is, what are you going to do for Jesus? How are you going to live for Jesus? Amen.